So, those of you guys who've been following me for a while, and particularly my, like, real-life stuff, uh, will know that I, earlier this year, moved to Seattle. And I love it here. I am having a great time. But something I've noticed while I'm taking my walks to, you know, my daily locations that I go for, you know, errands and whatnot, like going to the vape store, the dispensary, I noticed that this place is fucking infested with cops. Like, I'm not even joking. When I go down any main street in Seattle, there are dozens of cops going by in any given time. At night, when I've got the windows open, I hear armies of cop sirens in the distance, just chase car chases or whatever's going down. I don't even know. It could be ambulances too, but it's mostly cop sirens. There are just tons of cops out here. And for the most part, I haven't really had any interactions with them or negative ones for that matter. Um, you know, I've like, I've gone to the um, sheriff's office to get my concealed pistol license stuff and get myself fingerprinted for it and my background check and all that. Um, but like, you know, I, I didn't talk to any cops there, just people at the front desk and some like pencil pusher types at the uh, at the police station. But there were some cops in the lobby and they weren't like bothering me or harassing me. But I'm very aware of the fact that cops is an institution and many of them individually are quite massive pieces of shit. And just recently, a massive story went viral uh, in regards to a Seattle cop who is being investigated for m murder, pretty much, and gloating about it on body cam. I heard about this, but I didn't really see it at the time because I believe I was in Florida and I didn't get a chance to cover it. But I've seen this video and it is truly horrifying. But this was a Seattle cop here in my city. But she is dead. <laughs> he ran her That's over. That's not the only time the Seattle police officer talking laughs while discussing what happened here. 23-year-old Janavi Kandula, a Seattle graduate student, struck and killed by a Seattle police cruiser while she was in this city crosswalk on Dexter Avenue last January. A fellow officer was responding to an emergency call. This video just obtained from Como shows that officer en route. The officer on the body cam identified in a news release from the Seattle CPC, the Community Police Commission, as Detective Dan Arterer laughs and says, Yeah, just write a check. Just, yeah, <laughs> $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. The CPC's co-chair, Joel Merkel, said he heard reports that he and a colleague's comments were mocking attorneys. Joking about how device. much her life might be worth, even if he was mocking an attorney, uh, is just really heartbreaking and shocking to hear. On the body cam video released by SPD on YouTube and handed over to the Office of Police Accountability for Investigation, you'll also hear the detective say this. He's going 50. That's not out of control. That's not reckless for a train driver. Uh, officer is seemingly joking about accountability on the video. Online, the department wrote the video is being released in the interest of transparency. It's a real big setback and it really speaks to some of the issues with uh, culture and some of the elements at SPD. Yes, uh, it's a pretty big fucking problem. Uh, the police know that they are nigh invincible, that they have a lot of political willpower behind them protecting them as an institution and that they can politicize their own accountability. And a cop who gets fired can be a cop with a successful media career in conservatism. Top tier pig behavior, yes. A Seattle police accountability office is investigating after an officer was recorded on his body camera joking over the death of a 23 year old woman who was fatally struck by another officer who was responding to a call. Graduate student, um, uh, I, I don't want to mispronounce her name, but it is a hard one to pronounce. Uh, Janavi Kadula was in a crosswalk the night of January 23rd when an officer struck her with his patrol SUV, um, police said. The p officer, Kevin Dave, I like how we're getting statements from the police here. I, I always love when it's about police misconduct and we're getting statements from the police. 
There's just always this, like, it's literally the image of we investigated ourselves and found no wrongdoing. I just get that vibe every time. The officer, Kevin Dave, was driving 74 miles per hour moments before the collision, according to the Seattle Police Department's investigation report provided to the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office. Dave was responding to an emergency medical technician to a Priority One emergency call at the time, police said. Officer Daniel o Oderer? Outerer? responded to the scene to evaluate Dave and determined he did not show any signs of impairment, according to the investiga investigation report. Oh, he was sober. How, how fantastic. In newly released body camera footage, Odur can be heard discussing the incident while on the phone in his cruiser. He's going 50 miles per hour. That's not out of control. That's not reckless for a train driver, Odur has said during the phone call, which, uh, according to the video's timestamp, occurred on January 24th. The other person he is talking to cannot be heard during the call. After discussing whether she was in the crosswalk and how far she was thrown, Odur says, but she is dead, and laughs several seconds later. Towards the end of the two and a half minute video, uh, minute, Sorry, two and a half minute video. Ardur says, yeah, just write a check, followed by laughter. $11,000. She was 26 anyway, he said. Mistaking Kandula's Kedula age, she had limited value. So he, he was, he didn't even have her age right. And also is doing the incel thing with like, I literally talked about this yesterday on stream and I had people in chat arguing with me where our misogynistic society is determined that like women lose value the further from like 18 they get and the and men gain value as they get closer to like 35 like men get gain value the older they get women lose value the older they get is like the misogynistic idea that many conservatives follow and clearly this cop as well it even justifies their killings the Seattle Police Department on Monday released the footage saying the video was identified by a department employee who was concerned about the nature of statements heard on that video and brought it to the chief's office. Following a review of the video, the chief referred the matter to the police department's independent office of police accountability to determine, quote, any policy violation that might be implicated. The police department said in a statement on Monday. The department released the video in the interest of transparency due to the public concern, but said it cannot comment on its substance pending the completion of the Office of Police Accountability's investigation. SBD has been in touch. I, I will never not think of um, the Raccoon City Police Department when I think of any police department acronym. I don't know why, but I always think of the Raccoon City Police Department, probably because of all the hours I played Resident Evil... Uh, two i think it was remake where you've got like leon's police uniform on ardur is vice president of the seattle police officers guild isn't it funny how we're totally fine with police officers unionizing and there's no political ill will against that the police union that represents Seattle officers, according to the Seattle Community Police Commission, a citizen oversight board. ABC News did not immediately receive a response from the Seattle Police Officers Guild or Ardour to a request for comment on the video. The Seattle Community Police Commission's co-chairs called the phone call heartbreaking and shockingly insensitive. After Detective Ardour is heard confirming that the pedestrian died, he is laughing in response to the person on the other end of the call, the co-chairs, um... Rev. Harrier Walden, Rev. Uh, Patricia Hunter, and Joe Merkel said in a statement. He joked that her life was only worth $11,000 and had limited value. In what was believed to be a private conversation, Ardura showed unprofessional and inhumane con conduct. Uh, statement. The statement continued. Kandula was from India and was working to earn a master's degree in information systems from Northern University's Seattle campus when she died. Dave had his patrol SUV's emergency lights and siren on at the time of the collision, police said. According to the investigation report, a responding officer reported that Dave appeared to be visibly shaken at the scene. Lights were on, was chirping the siren when I was heading down. She was in the crosswalk. She saw me. She started running through the crosswalk, slammed on my brakes. Instead of staying back where she should before crossing, she just zips. Dave told the officer, according to the report. ABC News did not immediately receive a response from Dave to a message seeking comment on the case. The King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office is conducting a criminal review of the incident to make any changing, uh, changing decision. The Office of Police Accountability is also investigating.
This is horrific, obviously. Absolutely gut churning. But I want to tell you guys a personal story that happened to me a few months ago here in Seattle. I swear to God, this is not made up. I was walking down the street to go to the dispensary and I made it to a crosswalk that I go through every single time I go to the dispensary. I hit the button for it to start the countdown. Like, it just kind of like you wait for it to start a countdown for you to cross the street and to say you can walk and uh, for the, you know, crosswalk to be safe to go. And this is the same road I'm constantly seeing dozens and dozens of cops every time I take it. And I go to cross the street. I take like five steps. Like, I am well within my right to cross the street. It is 100% within my right to cross the street. And I'm walking across, I'm about halfway across, and in the lane furthest from me, a cop car just barrels beyond the speed limit, no lights on, not doing anything like that they need to be speeding for, just comes to a screeching halt halfway over the crosswalk. I wasn't in the way of the car and I didn't have to get out of the way or stop or anything or slow down, but had I been in the way, had I been there, he would have hit me. Not bad enough that I would have died, but bad enough I probably would have needed to go to the hospital. I have seen cops here barreling through. They will cut you off. They will pass you and lane split and weave through lines in ways that are outright illegal in normal traffic law. Uh, no one else is allowed to do it, but they are. They are massively power tripping here in Seattle when it comes to their driving in particular. When I heard this story, I'm sad to say the first thing I thought was, of course, of f***ing course, this, the goddamn Seattle cops with their insane driving. I nearly got hit. Obviously, nearly is stretching it, but you heard the story. I've had my own experience with cops driving recklessly here in Seattle. This is a downright horrifying story, and it speaks to the level of freedom cops feel they have to break the law and to commit heinous actions and get away with it. And that, oh, we'll just pay them off. Disgusting.